Hey guys, what is up? This is me, Jacob. I'm um, back again with another video. Um, today, we got a little bit of rain behind us. It should be a little bit of fun. And uh, like I said, I said that uh, we might be putting shocks and uh, rims and tires on maybe like in a long time. <laughs> but that didn't happen as Rough Country came in clutch and has a good two day shipping when you buy it straight from their store. So, we got, well, David or Dad here. Hey. <laughs> And here they are. We got the shocks here. We got the N2.0s right here. And yeah, um, I'm pretty sure this truck has never had a change in their shocks ever. Like, ever. <laughs> they look really rusted out, don't they? <laughs> I would say so. <laughs> it's new. Yeah, so first thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna WD-40 the whole thing, get everything loosed up, and well, let's, let's hope. <laughs> We're just hoping. All right, let's get into that. Well, first, these are the things we got. Here's the WD-40. Old trusty. All right, guys, so now we are under my truck and we got shocks right here, as you guys can see them. Maybe not too well, but there they are. They're, uh, I would say, really, really rusty. Like, that's all rust. So we did bring down a little iron brush with us just scratch it off a little bit. Get off some of that surface rust that might be on there. It might get, make it a little bit harder to get it off. Ah, there we go. Just like so. Just get that off a little bit. And you take your WD-40. You know, a little bit too much. A little bit cramped down here. All right, guys, now we gotta shake this off real quick. Shake that WD-40. <laughs> All right, you start spraying on the bolt. Oh. Spray all over, just like so. And do that the other side. It's all around. All right, you don't have to do this if you don't have a rusty bottom, but this is Michigan. It's gonna be rust no matter what. <laughs> Windows are not rust. And then you just repeat that same thing onto the other side. And once you repeat onto the other side, then you're ready to start taking them off. All right, guys, so once you get the bottom done, don't also forget about the top up here. If you got rustiness, you gotta get that right there. And get the WD-40 on there. Same thing for that side, except it's way over there. And yeah, once you got that, then you can start and taking them off again. <laughs> All right, let's do that. Hey guys, so once you get done with doing all your WD-40 and everything, then you're gonna need a ratchet. And if you have my truck, which is a 2005 um, GMC Sierra 1500 uh, four-wheel drive, you're gonna need a 13-16th and, well, 13-16th end on your ratchet. And yeah, then you will be able to take off your shocks. <laughs> This will be fun, even in the rain. I don't know, we live in like some rainforest. Guys, update, um, you're gonna need two 1316s. So uh, yeah, we're just gonna get that. Hey guys, so after some technical dif difficulties, uh, we got that off, we got the bolt up, and uh, here we go. There's proof that we did it, all right? We don't have any people saying, you need new, yeah, it's off now, it's off. I swear it's off, okay. Ugh. So now what we gotta do is we gotta do the top. Somewhere right there, right there. It should be a little bit harder since it's in a more of an awkward position. So let's go and do that. All right guys, so we just got done um, taking off that one. So that's what it looks like as I think we were saying corrected. They never really took those off ever. I think these are stock from 2005. What do you think? I think it has life to it yet. Whatever. Here, squish it. See, see what it does. Squish that real quick. Yeah, it's, it's all fine. Now we're gonna cut the the dabs off this one. 
So we'll see what happens after we cut this one. Whoa! Oh, that's a more life. Yeah, that's a lot more life. Yeah. All right, and then we got these boots for it because you need to buy these boots for them. All right, put those on. Boop. Sure, it's not the other way around. <laughs> I think it is. I might want to put that on first, but yeah, that might be a good idea. I think everything will work out. Man. <laughs> All right. So yeah, guys, we're gonna go with this silver and red setup right here for the shocks. So our nitrogen uh, charge shocks. Well, that took a day. <laughs> it literally did too. It's it's been a it's been a couple of uh right, thirty minutes. Straight, <laughs> straight slide screwdriver. Straight up. slot. Here's one. Boop. Oh well, it didn't close. Well, oh well. Here we go. Made it. Guys, now that we got it, the boot on, um, we just decided to put it over there. We'll see if that actually works or not. <laughs> but um, now we just need to put on these guys. Have two bolts. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it will be putting on the sticker. <laughs> just like that. Okay guys, oh that's a little blurry. Here we go. As you guys can see, we got the boots on and we got the sticker and everything. It's all connected. And that's what it looks like. And now all you have to do to get the other ones on is just repeat the same process as we just did. And um yeah, do it to the other side. So yeah. Let's make a time list of that right now. Wavy Boy Productions. All right, guys, there's one bolt off from that side, Don. What do you think? I think we did it. <laughs> oh, man. Guys, got off um, the uh, last shock for today. Um, we're going to put on this shock right here and that side. And then once we're done with that, um, I think we're going to cut this off into tomorrow. I don't know. We're doing this in the morning or afternoon? In the morning sometime. So, I guess 
I guess after this, we're just gonna cut straight to the morning, right? I would say so, right? Morning? Just do it all night. Do it all night? All right. All right. See you guys then. All right, guys, I think I'm more prepared this time. <laughs> all right, guys, so it's it's been a week now. It's not uh, the next day. But uh, I think we're ready to start up what we did, what we started with the shocks. And let's get those done. So we haven't really uh, done much with the truck. I just got my graduated license. So I can start driving with my parents a little bit. So yeah. Ugh. Yeah, we got a little bit of a wash on it. We went to a, to a quality car wash and decided to get it washed. So yeah, um, we did that. And I'll be right back with some other stuff. All right. Whew. Here's the rusty old looking. All right. <laughs> uh, where was I looking for? All right, there it is. All right, so we got some off, off market uh, WD 40. So basically, we're going to start spraying it on the lugs just to get them off a little bit. Don't forget to shake it up like I said at the start. You guys probably forgot about that when in doubt it. So just do it to all four of them, get the lugs all nice and oiled up, all lubricated. <laughs> but yeah, I love the shine. And uh, you guys, if you guys don't follow me on Facebook, you guys should know there's gonna be a special video coming out a little bit after this one. So get ready for that. And it has something to do with wheels and tires. Uh, so yeah, let's start oiling them up. All right, now they're a little bit greased up. Don't forget if you guys have any lug nuts or I mean, like covers or anything, take those guys off. You're not gonna need them. <laughs> All right, let's start doing them to the rest of them. All right, guys. So now once you got all the little lubricant done, if you do have like rusty bolts like I have, then it looks like you're gonna need to use a 7 8 on it. Oh, well first you gotta, well I'm just saying like for the wrench or the ratchet, you're gonna use any one of the 7 8 and yeah but the next step you guys really want to do is you guys want to get started on putting it on jacks because while you're taking down the uh what do you call it the <laughs> the front uh wheels so you're gonna you're gonna need to put it on jacks <laughs> um it makes it a lot if you're wondering why it makes it a lot easier to get to that shock as you guys can see literally right behind there and there it is and it's really bad no joke, no scam. So we gotta go fix that. Guys, okay, so update, you're gonna first need to uh, break the lug nuts off. <laughs> so once you get those all broken off, then you can uh, start it. <laughs> so yeah, break out those lug nuts and then you can put on the jacks, the jack stands. Um, we're having a little bit of a technical difficulty with the jacks since they're all rusted out. So once we get those all rust, or like all of those all um, working uh, fine or uh, cool, <laughs> then uh, yeah, we'll pick this up again. Probably going to be tomorrow, so Saturday. And now it's been a full seven days or six days. So <laughs> yeah, once we get that, then we'll start get it start. Ugh, then we'll start getting it going. Let's go do that. See you guys then. All right, guys. What's up? We're back again, another day, and uh, we tried tried uh, breaking those bolts on the uh, <laughs> on the on the rims, and it didn't really work out too well. So we're off to Harbor Freight now, or wherever, maybe Lowe's, 
we're just gonna see if they have a seven eighths on a ratchet for a ratchet and uh half inch. yeah half inch <laughs> and uh we're gonna see all right guys so we're back again from uh harbor freight and we got some wd-40 uh, penetrant oil uh, some other stuff for another project we're not going to be talking about yet. <laughs> and uh, we got a bunch of, uh, yeah, uh, impact suck. <laughs> yeah. So um, we have a 7 8 now that's big enough. And we now we're going to start doing it. Yeah. <laughs> so first we're going to put this on, see if this helps a little bit. Because these things are being a pain in the neck right now and are not coming off. So let's go do that. All right, guys. So we gotta shake this pretty well up, just like the regular WD-40. Dad's trying to find out how to take that off. So basically what I'm gonna do, just spray it just like the other WD-40. Oh shoot, just like that. And then you do that for all of them. I'll show you guys one more example. All right, so you guys want to do that for every single one of them. Till you got them all off. All right, guys. So we're back. We tried. Uh, we tried uh, busting some of these uh, bolts off, and this rim right here is a pain in the neck. And this one, and this one, decided to strip. So you guys are gonna get a little bit of a more of a tutorial on how to <laughs> maybe fix that, maybe not. Um, so. Something we read online, yeah, don't read everything online, but I mean, it might work, is uh, don't use a 12 point, use a six point. And yeah, um, the funny thing is we did all the other rims while you guys, while we were like off camera. So everything else was fine. It's just this one. So yeah. So now we're using, is this a, is this a six point now? Yep. Okay. You're using a 3 8 instead of a 1 half now. So first what we're going to do is we're going to try putting on heat because we uh, stripped it with the 12 points so we should be able to use the 6 point now still. But we'll see if that works or not. Yeah, let's see. Guys, I don't know if the time lapse just got that, but we just broke our three eighths uh, after a good little time of just sitting there trying to torch the freaking thing. This is not good. <laughs> not a good start from us. <laughs> is that a three eighths? Mm. Yeah, there we go. We got we got a really old one now. Let's we'll see if that one that one does it. Rusty but trusty. Let's see. All right. <laughs> oh man, dude. This is this is a great. This one can't break. Non -pivotal one. Oh, it's non-pivotable? All right, should be a lot better now. Another one bites the dust. <laughs> oh man. All right, we just broke another uh, 3 8 uh, Maybe not use a 3 8 on a, on a truck. Did we learn our lesson, Dad? <laughs> We're gonna keep on going with it. Yeah, we gotta another, keep going. Another 3 8 <laughs> Oh man, dude, this Nothing is great. To do. Ah, very old craftsman. We got a very old craftsman now. <laughs> Let's see if this one does the trick this time. Maybe we can get it. Oh my gosh! Oh. Oh no, dude. Where is it? Where did it break? It just popped it right apart. Oh man. This whole thing popped out. 
What would you say? What do you think about that? Half inch. <laughs> Half inch. <laughs> oh no, dude. Is it time for the chisel? Back together again. I mean, this would be, it would work for something again. Yeah. No, I think it's, it's done. Okay. We'll be back after a little bit. All right, guys, so we're back, and I got this one off now. It took a little bit. <laughs> yeah, oh, that's us, that's Murphy's us right now. Right we're, we're Murphy's Law. Oh, don't play a video right now, Dad. No, 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 no copyright. All right, so we're back after a uh, brief moment of trying not to get copyright striked, and now the police are coming after Dad because he's trying to copyright strike me. <laughs> uh, okay. Whoa! <laughs> all right. So now we're going to try to get that bottom one off, and then that should be all of them. And then we can start putting it up on Jacks finally. <laughs> Oh no. Goofy Goobers, we're back. Um, we finally taken off. Well, I, I guess you guys can tell the rim and the wheels off. And now we're gonna just spray some more penetrant on the rusty bolts because it's kind of what we gotta do here. <laughs> like I said, I don't think anyone's ever actually worked on this truck except for the brake lines. <laughs> what do you think, Dad? This is a rusty busty. <laughs> so yeah. Uh, just gotta spray it where all the bolts are. And then, yeah, so those will be up on Facebook Marketplace probably. And you guys will find out later why. Spray it. It's not spraying? Oh, you don't have it up, that's why. Oh, it's gonna be all the way yeah. up. Yeah. No Alright, there's another thing guys, you gotta have it all the way up for it to shoot. Oh, you just In spray that face? yourself. Yep. Okay. And it's very flammable, so you want it on your face. <laughs> there we go. And as you guys can see, there was mismatching shocks, dude. What is this? <laughs> what, what, didn't we have orange ones in the back? <laughs> Alright. So, now we gotta start taking it out. We'll be there right now. Guys, so after that intense time last we did, um, we now got the uh, shock off, and that's basically what it looked like. I, I think these are stock. What do you think? I'm pretty sure. <laughs> oh man, no, no shock to it. No, there isn't. It doesn't even go back up. <laughs> so yeah, um, let's let's ho let's hope this doesn't happen to that one. <laughs> By the looks of it, right now, when we let that go, we're gonna have to do some compressing ourselves. <laughs> yeah, dude, that sucks. <laughs> oh man. All right, so we're gonna go get that boot on that one, and then start putting it down there, and see how that one goes. <laughs> Maybe we should put some thought in it. You think we could put it in and then let go of the of the wire? I don't know, it could work. But then how are we gonna put the boot on? Oh, we need the boot on. Yeah. Well, all we right. saw it, we gotta keep on thinking. All right guys, so now we got it all done. Shock's on there finally after like 90 years of doing it. Murphy Slaw gave us a visit as Dad tried to show me a copyrighted video and we got everything done. So that's basically what it looked like. Um, we basically just copy the same directions as we gave. If you are having that bit of a situation. <laughs> so yeah, basically, um, just copy the same instructions and you should be able to get it onto the other side, on the passenger side. So yeah guys, um, I think that's gonna be the end of the video. If you guys did enjoy, I guess leave a like. If you didn't, dislike like usual. And uh, yeah, there's mom and Daphne. 
<laughs> All right. And again, if you enjoy my videos, I guess leave a subscribe. <laughs> All right, guys. So that that was a mess, as you guys saw. Um. Yeah. Like I said again, hope you guys enjoyed the video. That's gonna be it. Peace out.